Funnel for acetam hydrazide was my favorite stimulant, but is it still my favorite stimulant? Hey, what's up guys, this is Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little updated review on this phenylparacetam hydrazide. Now this at one point was my favorite stimulant of all time, and to be honest, it still is my favorite stimulant. But I did a first video, kind of like an introduction to my thoughts on phenylparacetam hydrazide, and then a little while later, I loved it so much, I reordered it. I did a, basically a second video of my updated thoughts. Now after taking it even longer, and I think I've gone through about 20 grams, I may have spilled some at some point, but I've been through about 20 grams and there was some things that I did find out that I didn't know in those other videos. So phenylparacetam hydrazide, it actually is very bitter. It's one of the most bitter supplements out there, but for some reason, I don't actually mind it as much, but keep in mind that it is so bitter, it's probably gonna last in your mouth for about 30 minutes, you know, maybe even up to 45 minutes. Uh, even after you have some drinks, it just lingers, this and that. But I do wanna say that for some reason, I find that the potency is much increased when I just straight put it on my tongue. Now, I understand it's supposed to, you know, absorb a little bit faster, especially under the tongue and things like that, but I almost feel like a half dose, like in my mouth, under my tongue would feel about the same as about double in a capsule. Now, that's just my feeling. I haven't really tested that a bunch, but that's just the feeling that I have that putting it straight in your mouth is much, much more effective, but at the same time, it is very, very, very bitter and bad. I could totally see why you wouldn't want to do that. And people have come on my video just telling you like this taste is abnormally bad and it does linger for a long time. However, there are some things like teacrine. Teacrine is something I could never ever get used to. So there are levels worse than this. Basically it's a racetam, so it's gonna work a little bit on the choline receptors, this and that. But this one specifically is supposed to have some sort of dopamine style reaction. Online I think it said it was a potent dopamine reuptake inhibitor, which is similar to other kind of ADD drugs and things like that. From the research that I was looking at, it seems that it widens the receptors in your brain. So so basically for you to feel anything from my understanding it needs to be in your bloodstream and it needs to basically connect with a receptor so if your receptor is wider basically more of that dopamine can get in and basically it's almost kind of like healing your natural brain system it's hard to describe but it almost seems like it has like a healing effect and I was reading online that if you were to abuse a lot of dopamine drugs, that's going to make the receptors actually smaller. So in theory, if you were to take a lot of dopamine abusing drugs like cocaine or amphetamines, things like that, Ritalin, take a lot of that stuff over time and abuse it to the point where your brain's just not functioning correctly, in theory, this should definitely help you out. And I gotta say from personal experience, it definitely does correct that kind of weird offset of dopamine like for a long time there, I haven't done it in a while, and again, be very careful, do not copy me, this could be very dangerous, but for a while there, I was having like a small dose of Adderall once a week, you know, it wouldn't last all day, so when I would get the craving to take something else, I would just jump over to the phenylparacetam hydrazide, and I would kind of take it, you know, maybe two or three times throughout the day after that, because phenylparacetam only lasts about 90 minutes, and it would eventually, by the end of the day, I couldn't even tell that I ever took Adderall. And one of the sad things and one of the side effects that I get from Adderall is that um, it feels really good, but then even afterwards, I go in through this limbo where I can't sleep, but I can't really just enjoy very much. I could just tell like I'm a little bit off. It's not like I'm depressed, it's not, it's not like I'm anxious, but I can't really get into anything and I can't really relax either, and it's this terrible limbo. So um, the more I take of it, the more problems that I have. If I were to take a very low dose of Adderall, I'd probably have none of these issues. Do not copy me because these are both stimulants. You could have lots of issues doing this but I found like a low to medium dose in the morning of Adderall and then taking some phenylparacetam hydrazide later in the day was phenomenal. You know, it kept up that good feeling that I was looking for and at the same time it kind of healed me and I don't want to be TMI, but my libido just goes way through the roof when Adderall is going away from me and leaving my body. It's just crazy through the roof and not always in a good way. And the phenylparacetam hydrazide kind of gets those crazy thoughts out of my head. You know what I mean? It kind of brings me back to a more balanced state of mind. So I don't even know if I would really want to take Adderall without having this to kind of balance me after because it just is so strong and has such a draining quality from you. So the effects of this stuff, it doesn't really have the effects right 
right away. So if you were to take a pretty large dose right away, you're not gonna probably feel too much, probably a little bit of energy. For some reason, when you chain the doses or you start taking it three, four days in a row, it just starts working and working and working. It kind of has a reverse tolerance, meaning that the more you take it, the more effective it is. The ideal dosage, people would say, is to take this for about three weeks on and one week off. And I definitely agree with that because after you take it for a while, it is going to start working. But after a certain period of time, it's not gonna have that crazy big strong effect that it normally did. But the issue that I have is that I find that phenylparacetam is a great balancer. It's a great mix up to your day. Even when I'm not taking it for those really up effects or I'm not just taking it as a phenylparacetam dominant day, I still like a little bit of midday, maybe 75 to 100 milligrams. It's a great pickup, it's a great balancer, I just love it. So, you know, my dosage would probably be like 75 to 125 milligrams, two to three times a day. And then also there are some times when, like I said, I would probably take it once in the midday to kind of give me a balancer, kind of reset things that are going on because um, I feel like it has a brain healing effect too. So the only place I know where to get it is by DMA online. I have not tried the original phenylprastam. I've heard people say that the original phenylprastam is stronger. I've heard people say that the hydrazide version is stronger. I've heard that China is starting to regulate phenylprastam. So that's why we're like having shortages of it. So I'm actually out of it right now. This is the 10 gram version. So I've ordered the five gram a five gram and a 10 gram. So I've had 20 grams total of this stuff and I actually need to order more. And like I said, I don't really wanna take any strong dopamine style things unless I have this as a backup because this, is, it's like no matter where you get yourself, you can kind of get yourself back with phenylprastam because of that healing effect. So anyways, guys, I just wanna put my updated opinions on it. I don't think in the last video I said that it takes a few days to work because I hadn't pinned it down. I was just taking it for a while and eventually it was great. And I forgot that the first couple days weren't as impressive so anyways guys let me know what you think of phenylprastam hydrazide let me know if you there's other vendors out there if you've tried the original phenylprastam or if there's racetams similar to this one i'll be very interested to see but anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace